for cryogenic service if the temperature is 0 degree celsius can we call it cryogenic service obviously right no cryogenic services have a temperature which should be very less so for example for cryogenic service is a lot of debate but let us go with bella liptax option so let us say around 101 degree celsius can be considered to be cryogenic services in cryogenic services one important thing to be considered is orientation should the orientation be on top or should it be in bottom and is it really required by the end of the video you will yourself be able to give the answer to this question the first thing to note is a simple law of physics the molecules of the gas are further apart from each other the molecules come a bit close when it is a liquid surface or a liquid structure and it's solid the molecules are very much close to each other this concept is very important to us if we want to convert anything from gas to liquid basically we need to bring the molecules together one option is we use force so basically we put a lot of pressure so the molecules come together and this is the phenomenon behind compressed natural gas if you want to convert from gases to liquid without pressure there is another way possible you cool the temperature so the molecules are now having less energy to move or vibrate so basically if you cool the molecules together is where you get to cryogenic services cryogenic services basically exist in their natural form in gaseous state this is important to know because this is how we will understand how a cryogenic bonnet works so at standard temperature and pressure it would be at gaseous state however if you cool it down for example lng at minus 162 degree celsius it would be in its liquid form at this extremely cold temperature but why do we go into such cold temperatures if you see here at 1 upon 600 times the volume has reduced and this is very helpful to us when it comes to storage transportation etc let us see the working of the bonnet so basically let us imagine here is a valve and here is the bonnet and here is an actuator placed on to it the liquid is a cryogenic liquid and this is your extended bonnet what is going to happen is the liquid is initially going to come here to the bonnet but there is going to be temperature dissipation and what we just learned is because it's temperature dissipation if the cold temperature is not maintained the liquid will finally again try to convert back into gas and this is helpful to us why because the gas itself creates an insulation insulation layer which further reduces the temperature to be dissipated and to come up till the actuator which can destroy the electronics or the packing etc that is why if you see in a lot of references you will always notice that the mounting orientation is very important for cryogenic services you either need to have an upright position or you can incline it up to 45 degrees if you see from the upward position and one thing important to note is if you're inclining towards 45 degree then especially additional supports might be required to support the assembly cryogenic service two important things for material selection are the body and the packing so let us look into that what happens is at cold temperatures there is something called as glass transition temperature that means a polymer turns from a ductile material to a hard and brittle material that is possible so we need to see if the packing can withstand such low temperatures for example what we saw in the nasa's case fkm bitom cannot sustain such low temperatures generally ptfe might be a better choice but that needs to be confirmed next thing to look into is the material for the bonnet itself carbon steel generally might not be a very good choice generally low temperature carbon steel or stainless steel is the preferred choice 